Who are we today? What's my name today? No, I'm Neek. Neek Neek. That's the um, abbreviation for Dominique, Katie. When a girl named Dominique, like in the hood, they give her a nickname. They call her Neek. Neek. Yeah, like what's up, Neek? Neek, Neek is in the building. Y'all thought I'd be on stage. Period. Today, at the grown folks table, we're gonna be making hot honey chicken sandwich. Roll it. Everybody loves a good chicken sandwich. Y'all about just ran every Popeyes to the ground. Y'all was over there fighting, throwing buns at each other, pulling people out the car, honey. But dang, it's a chicken sandwich, but that chicken sandwich can keep you warm that night. But today, y'all, I am going to be showing you how to make one of my favorite chicken sandwiches to make at home, which is a hot honey chicken sandwich. We're gonna start with some organic vegetable oil. Did you press this this morning? Yes. How many vegetables did it take? Six soybeans. Okay. <laughs> but if you don't want to go and do all that, you could just easily get some vegetable oil. You want to put it in a skillet or a pot or a deep fryer and preheat it to about 350 degrees. We're going to start with a nice voluptuous chicken booby here. Baby, that thing looks like it from the Dr. Miami. <laughs> we have a chicken called Petey in the back. And Petey sacrificed her life this morning and she gave us this nice, gorgeous breast. She had just went on down to Dominican and got it done, but then Dylan was like, it's you today. You're gonna die. And now we have her. I wash my chicken. I told y'all there's a man that's maybe in the back of the butcher shop called Doug who got a little meat fetish and stuff. And you need to wash your meat, okay? The one in the pack and the one that's below the pelvic. Wash it all the time. Put some lime and some vinegar and stuff in there and wash it and then pat it dry. But today I'm gonna take a sharp knife and just kind of butterfly it. You wanna take your hand. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid to touch all your meats. You see how I'm taking that knife and I'm just filleting that thing, okay, and I'm taking my time and doing it right. <laughs> Men pay attention, okay? I'm not rushing the process, okay? Just wanna open it up and that looks like, okay. I'm gonna let y'all figure out what it looked like out there in the comments. You getting on up in that thing, ain't you, Gito? You know what that look like, you got kids. So I've got a bowl here, okay, you can use um, a bowl, you can use a Ziploc bag. So you wanna take your chicken here and put it in a bowl. Now they killed me down here in the California soul. They don't sell whole fat uh, buttermilk. Let me know in the comments if you live in LA so that Dylan can go find whole fat buttermilk cause they be doing this reduced fat, nothing. I want my buttermilk to look like cellulite. I want it chunky. I want it to feel like something that keep you warm at night. I want all the fat. This buttermilk be doing, getting lipo. That's what they do here. I can't stand it. If anybody wanna send me a care package, we're gonna put our P.O. box down there and let, and with some dry ice and ship it overnight or something so that I can have some real buttermilk. You wanna coat your chicken booby? Look, you see how watery that is? It's not you, Dylan. They just don't sell the right buttermilk. And cover it. Gluten-free, gluten-free, everything is free, but not the rent. Put that down and coat it like this. This looks great. Oops, sorry. Well, now if you're gonna sit in there to marinate, for real, put your little seasoning in there. I'm using my seasoning, but you can use seasoned salt, garlic powder, onion powder. Yes, I said add these additional things to the seasoned salt. Give that a little toss. You can let this sit. Now we're gonna act like we're on a real cooking show. You can let this sit overnight if you want to to get that buttermilk flavor in there. This is called a buttermilk brine. And what's gonna happen is the acidity that is not in this buttermilk, but if you have regular buttermilk from the South, it's gonna help tenderize that chicken and get it nice and juicy and plump. <laughs> so when it's nice and sopped up, like it's looking right here, that's when you wanna move on to the flour, okay? We're gonna use some self-rising flour. It has some baking powder in there, which is a leavening agent. I'm just killing it with these big words. It's gonna allow the chicken to get nice and crispy and puff up and it's gonna walk around like a chicken by itself. Boo, 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 boo. Like that. Pour that down in your bowl and give it a little shake. And then we're gonna add the seasoning to the flour. And you wanna just take your thing. So we're gonna take our chicken, get a little bit of the buttermilk off. 
real easy and put that down in there like that. We're gonna just do what your man or your woman do in the middle of the night when they feeling frisky. We just gonna turn it over. All right, okay. Shake off the access. This is how you know it's gonna be nice and crusty and have that good crispy skin. When the chicken looks, you know, a little wrinkly, like it needs Botox, now we're going to fry. This is how you test your oil. This is how black folks do it, honey. The oil is preheated. When it starts looking like, you know, Rihanna highlight, a little translucent and glowy. Like, you throw a little bit of flour in there. If it's sprinkled, then it's good. You can also do the test with the spoon. That's what they say on the other cooking shows. And you put it in there, and if it bubbles, like that with a wooden spoon. Not a metal spoon, honey. You gonna be hurt, <laughs> baby. Like a good neighbor, Stay Farm is there. I hope you got your insurance, baby. If you do that. Look at me, I'm over here teaching today. Y'all don't want it. And then we're gonna just put it in the oil. And anytime you are frying something, you wanna lay it away from you, like that. Then we're just gonna let this fry for about maybe 10 to 12 minutes or so. When it starts floating to the top, then it'll be ready to take out. Oh, this is a good tip. To keep your cutting board from, hold on, <laughs> Neek, wait girl, get back there. To keep your cutting board from moving while you chop things and all that, just put a wet paper towel under it. And look, it's stable. That's something I can't say about some of y'all relationships out there, but that's okay. This smells and sounds like food rain. It sounds like food rain. So comforting. You wanna toss it around too, make sure it's not sticking, but look at that, it's already looking great, huh? You know, frying chicken just does something to me. They don't sell these in the jute joints down south, but everybody does look like really good chicken sandwich. I will put this above any chicken sandwich place that you've ever had, no matter the name. This sandwich is fire. And let me tell you what else you can put this hot honey sauce on that we gonna make. You can put this on chicken tacos, chicken casserole, chicken potato, chicken cob salad, chicken pasta salad. When it starts floating, that's how you know that it's done. I'm gonna turn this over a little bit. I wanna say about six minutes per side. It's white meat, so white meat tends to cook fast. You wanna just turn it over, oh, that looks so good. It looks like a heart. Cause it's made with love. Is there a heart? Is there a heart in the house tonight? Stand up, stand up. What do you say? A heart. Y'all don't know nothing about the five heartbeats out there. Classic movie. Let this cook for another five minutes and we're gonna build this sauce. You wanna take this out. That looks great. Listen to that. Ah! Perfecto. We wanna put it on our wire rack. You can get this from the Dollar Tree or you can get it from Walmart. You guys know I always say to invest in a wire rack. It's like a dollar or two so that the oil drips down. If you put it on paper towel, it'll just sit in that oil and it'll be soggy skin. I want everybody to hear the crust. Are we listening? We're making some sauce, super easy to make. You wanna start with the pan here. And I got my eye, they say, they say burner, but we say eye in the South, okay? We're gonna turn it down a little bit to medium heat. We got some hot sauce here. Just use your favorite store brand. We wanna use a teaspoon of butter and swirl that around, get it nice and melted. And we just wanna let this come to a boil for about three minutes before we add that honey in there. So now that this is kind of bubbling, cause we want it to be like a little thick, so when we toss it in that chicken, it's gonna be so good, so yummy. And then you just wanna pour it down in there like that. Ooh, ooh, this is about a teaspoon, okay, of honey. And I wanna get a whisk here and just kinda of and just stir this around. And we just wanna let this boil to thicken up like a little glaze, okay? That's what we want. It's glazy. But what I like to do is just give it a little taste before I let it boil completely. Make sure it's the right level of sweetness for me. Um, ooh, that's good. We're gonna let this boil for about five minutes since we'll get nice and syrupy and thick like me. Okay, so our glaze is looking great and nice and thick. We're gonna take the chicken. Y'all, this is about to be so soft. <laughs> and let me tell you what we wanna do, okay? We just wanna take like that glaze and just kind of base 
the chicken. That's what we want to do, everybody, ladies and gentlemen, girls and boys. This looks beautiful. Don't that look so good in the Stopped Up Community Church? Y'all let me know. Oh. Now that this is done, it is time to build Le Salé. No, Le Sandwich. Le Sandwich. So we got some brioche buns there, lovely. We woke up at um, what time to make these? 4 a.m. 4 a.m. this morning to make fresh brioche buns and we lightly toasted them. Now this is how I like to build the sandwich, okay? We're gonna take this chicken here. Baby, baby. You wanna drizzle just a little bit? A little bit of ranch on there, oh. And then I wanna top it with some accoutrements, okay? We've got some beautiful bacon. And we wanna just take a little bit of PJ, Piggy Jackson, put that on there like that. Organic chopped lettuce. <laughs> Name is Barbara, I love cooking. And you put that on there like this. And I love some pickles. We're gonna put some pickles on there. I wanna put a lot of pickle because I like that. Finish it off with just a little bit more ranch. Doesn't that look beautiful? And maybe just because, just for a little bit of flavor insurance, because I wanna do this my way. And boom, look at that. You wanna take some cute little toothpicks. Uh, Dylan gave me that. And you wanna just put them down in there. Ooh, like that. Look at that, it just looks so beautiful. When I cut down, oh, ooh, ay, yeah, yeah. Look at that skin just dripping off. Look at, look, come here, let me get that. Mm. That's so good. Baby, it's got layers like a good cut bob. You know a bob weave, baby? Look at those layers, boom. Mmm. Mmm. That's what I want you to do. I want you to like, share, comment, and subscribe, and make this. Make this sopped up hot honey fried chicken sandwich is what you want to do. And all the recipe ingredients and the full recipe. Y'all already know it's down in the description box because that's what they make me do out here. Baba. Mmm. Mmm. So you all out there be like wanting to see the crew eat the food. This is what happens when we cut the cameras off. The chicken sandwich is gone. Dylan's still eating bacon that's left over. Look at Jess over there. He's eating. Theirs is gone. Demolished. Finito. And they are enjoying it. For real.